Hello everybody. Um, the purpose for this video today is for me to show you how to make your own homemade cheap replacement uh, Cricut mats. This is a regular Cricut mat that uh, normally you would buy from your machine. And this is the Cricut mat that I've made for about 50 cents. Now that's just only the actual plastic. Of course you're still going to need our supplies but this is what they're going to look like. If you place them against a regular Cricut mat you're going to notice that they're about three inches short. So you're not going to get the whole 12 by 12 Cricut mat. Um, you're going to get a 12 by 9. Um, so if for example if you're cutting a lot of small pieces um, or multiple small pieces that don't go over the 9 um, inch grid line then this can be really helpful. Um, I personally cut a lot of small pieces so using these um, it's not very, I don't really use them unless I'm cutting, I'm, I'm sorry, unless I'm cutting big pieces. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so this is what they're going to look like at the end. They do have the grid lines, as you can see. I went ahead and number each one of them and I went ahead and traced them. And I'm going to show you how I make these. Very easy. You're going to need a few things. If you have a quick cut mat already, definitely use it because this is a really great um, template to use for the ones that you're going to be making. You're going to need tack, your spray tack, of course. Now, if you don't have, um, you're going to need a Sharpie. I have the one that has the fine line and the regular point. This one's coming really handy. I like this one, but if not, then you can use just a regular small one or a large one or both. You're going to need a ruler for um, tracing your lines. And you're going to need either scissors or a trimmer. I prefer to use a trimmer. It's more precise. I'm not really great with cutting plastic. It ends up kind of swervy and messy. And you're going to need a uh, painter's tape or whatever tape you're using whenever you're uh, resticking your mats. You're going to need this. I These are um, shopping mats for the kitchen. I found them at Dollar Tree for a dollar and they actually come in a set of two so it's very very cheap you're not going to be spending a whole lot of money on these and you can make as many as you like or as many as you need i find these extremely useful so this is what they look like i had tried making them with regular placemats unfortunately i found that placemats have a texture on the surface and i couldn't it wasn't cutting that great so I ended up finding these and this worked great. Alright so let's get started. First things first, you're going to need of course a quick cut mat. If you don't have this you can free scan it um, but I prefer to use these. Okay so you're going to take your mat and you're going to stick this one on top of your regular quick cut mat. Okay and just make sure that the edges, the top is aligned now you can stick this you can stick this edge to this edge here so you can stick those together or you can do what I did and just stick the top I personally like the fine um, edging so I don't use that you're gonna turn it around and we're gonna take our fine point and then we're just going to trace the edging I like to go through it a few times to make sure that the color sticks really well and then we're going to do the same thing to this side okay doesn't have to be perfect this one's a little it's not um i didn't stick it that well but it still work okay so when you look at it you should be able to see the black line from this side now you're not going to take it off the mat yet what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and take your your marker and you're going to trace all the grid lines Okay, um, the Cricut mats, the regular ones, they have like this, they have the regular um, lines here, but they have like this little area right here before the main line starts um, where all the numbers sit. Okay, I'm going to trace both that and the regular grid line. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll, I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, so... I'm going to start with the outer line. Okay. Right here. And then, of 
course I'm going to trace the one up here. Now my ruler's not big enough for the hole for me to trace it all the way across, but so I'm gonna have to compensate, but it'll still work. I apologize for my markers. I'm running a little bit dry and I forgot to grab one at the store earlier. Okay. Go. And you're gonna do the outer line again on this side. Okay, and then you want to do the inner line. The inner line is where the numbers sit in between. Okay. Like this. Sorry if you can hear my TV in the background. I forgot to turn it down. Okay, there we go. There's that. Okay. So you should end up with something like this. Oops. This always happens to me. Okay. So you should end up with something like this. Okay. See? Right there in the number sign between those lines. That's what you want. Okay. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do all the whole uh, thing because it's going to take a lot of time. But when you're done, you should end up with something like this. Now, if you notice, I haven't cut them yet. This is the line that you're going to cut. We're going to trim. This is the outer line. This is the inner line. And then you have your grids in here. Okay? So now we're going to cut it. Again, I like to use my trimmer because it's more precise. You're welcome to use scissors if you have a good steady hand. This just prevents me from having a, a mat that has a bunny edging or all outside. I'm not great with um, precise cutting. Oops. Make sure it doesn't move. Mine already did. So I'm going to have to turn it around because it's not going to cut that well. I'm going to have to redo that one. Okay. And then you just run it. And there's one side. Oopsie. Hopefully this doesn't mess up. Okay, and here's the other side. Okay. So here's my mat. Okay. Now this is the, the part that you need to kind of be careful with. Um, take note of the side that you drew your lines on. You don't want to use your tacky on that side. So you want to turn it around. This is one of the reasons why I haven't labeled the numbers yet. Okay. Uh, because I do not want for my tack to get on this side, from the, on the side that's uh that I use my marker on, it tends to smear and they come off and then it just becomes a pointless um, step. So once we've done that, we're gonna take our tape and just like, you're gonna basically uh, do what you would do whenever you uh, restick your mats. You just take the edges, of course, and you spray them. And I don't know why my tape doesn't seem to have it, there it is. So you're just going to take them up okay like normal and of course you don't want to you don't want to um you want to leave that number where you're going to write your numbers alone you don't want to take that up okay because you're going to need that you want to uh, have take the tacky stick to those areas as well now what you can, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but if you want, for example, um, you can write your numbers in now, in between the inner and outer line, or you can do it afterwards, although if you do it afterwards, you're just going to have to do it in the back, just make sure you know what you're doing. Um, so then you, you know, you take it wherever you need to take it at, and you're going to spray the, the tacky and then you're going to end up with, of course, a mat that's all sticky, nice and sticky and so forth. I've been using this one for about three months. I've resticked it a few times. They are durable, by the way, if you guys are wondering. These are very durable. I've had this for about three months. I've resticked it numerous times. They work great. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's easy. Nothing to it. Cheap. Two for a dollar can't go wrong with that um, and if you are going to be getting them at Dollar Tree you're going to find them in the kitchen area. Alrighty? Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching guys.